Discipline. Doing what needs to be done when you don't feel like doing it. So many of us want to have the motivation to wake up early, work out, read the Bible, but we keep finding ourselves hitting our alarm clocks, skipping our workouts, and scrolling on our phones over reading our Bibles. How do we get out of this rut of doing all the things we don't want to do so we can start living the life God has called us to? Watch this video to learn how to be more disciplined so you can live the life He created you to live and be the woman of God He created you to be. The best day to start is today. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ashley. Today we are gonna talk about how to be more disciplined. From so many of you, I heard, Ashley, I wanna wake up early, but I don't know how to wake up early. I keep sleeping in till 8 a.m. Ashley, I want to develop healthy habits, but I'm not really sure how to. Ashley, I wanna get into the Bible, but it just feels like every time I sit down, I have no motivation to read it, and then I end up just scrolling on my phone and looking at social media. If that is you today, I'm so glad to have you here for this video because that's what we're gonna talk about. But before we get into it, click the like and subscribe button so you can be notified of new videos every single week to help you grow your faith and reach your full potential in the Lord. Tip number one, lean into grace. You probably didn't think that I would start with grace as the first thing in self-discipline, but we are Christians here and the world says, pick yourself up by the bootstraps, but God says lean into grace. I was getting into a habit of sleeping in till like 8.30. It was slowly creeping into my life. So I was like, ah, it's okay if I sleep in a little bit, it's okay. Well, then it started to become like a thing that I was doing. And I'm like, okay, I gotta get back to my routine of waking up at 5.30. Well, then I set my alarm and planned on waking up at 5.30 and I freaking slept in till 8.30. And I was so bummed. I was so upset with myself because I hate waking up late. I find that my whole day, and I'm sure you feel this too, your whole day is just like starting later and then you just feel unorganized and yeah. I was a little upset with myself, but I felt the Lord remind me like, Ash, lean into grace. Like you can start again tomorrow. So then today I set like 10 alarms, y'all, and I eventually woke up, but I didn't wake up at 5.30. I woke up at 7.00. So you gotta pick and choose your battles. Not every day you're gonna wake up at 6 a.m. or 5.30, but just lean into grace because it's gonna be so easy for you to beat yourself up after you fail. It's really important on your journey of self-discipline to be like, okay, Lord, I failed. I'm not gonna identify myself with that failure. I'm going to identify myself with your grace. I know that you don't love me because of my performance, and I know that I can always try again tomorrow. Okay, next thing is to not bank on your feelings. I hear this a lot and I'm going to call it out. It's not good for us to think like this. People will say, if I don't feel like doing it, I just won't do it. Or if I didn't feel like it was the right time, if I didn't feel like it, if I didn't have a good feeling, then I just, then I just don't do it. Then they just end up not doing anything because they never actually feel like it. Very rarely do you feel like doing the things that you need to be doing. So here's what you need to do. You need to do the thing before you feel like doing the thing. Because once you do the thing, you will feel great. But before you do the thing, you might not feel like doing the thing. Here's an example. Before I wake up in the morning, as my head is, is resting on my pillow and it's the, that alarm is going off, do you think I feel like waking up? Absolutely not. But after I get up, after I am, you know, drinking my coffee and it's 6 a.m. and I have a whole morning ahead of me to do whatever I want, then I feel good. Something that I hear a lot is like, Ashley, I don't always feel like opening my Bible. Well, same. Literally same. There are so many days where I am about to open my Bible. I'm like, I could be doing so many other things right now. But I still flip it to my, to what I'm supposed to read that day in my Devo plan and I read and even if it's hard to focus and even if I am struggling to pay attention after I read my Bible I feel so much more connected to the father than if I just were to skip it because I didn't feel like it 
What about when we don't feel like working out? Okay, I don't, there will be days where I like, I just don't even feel like going to the gym, right? I don't feel like it. But then after I get that run in, I have all those endorphins. I'm like, man, I feel great. So your feelings are not a good indicator of what you should be doing. You need to do the thing before you feel like doing the thing, and then you will feel better after doing the thing. Number three, ask God to help you. I think we forget that God wants to help us with self-discipline. He says in 2 Timothy 1.7, For I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Fam, if God is the one giving us self-discipline, then we need to be the one asking for self-discipline from Him. We're not going to muster it up in our own strength. That's what the world tells us. That's what like self-help tells us is, you know, just do better. Like, okay, that doesn't really help. When we pray and we say, Lord, give me the discipline to read my Bible. Lord, give me the discipline to wake up early. And because I know a Proverbs 31 woman, she wakes up before dawn. Like, give me that discipline to be like a Proverbs 31 woman. Let's ask God for self-discipline. He wants to help us. I've been doing this in my workouts because... Lately, I've just been in a workout rut where I'm just not really feeling my workouts. But I will literally go to the gym and before I even work out, I'm like, I pray, say, Lord, would you give me the discipline today to do this workout? Just pray it. And guys, I feel like the days that I pray that prayer, for some reason, like the Holy Spirit just gives me the stamina where I'm able to do my lunges and my burpees a lot easier than if I hadn't prayed that prayer because our self-discipline doesn't come from ourselves. It comes from the Spirit of God. So pray for self-discipline. Number four, do it for the you five years from now. The daily disciplines that you do today might not look like they make a big difference in today, but five years from now, they will make a huge difference. Something that I'm learning is the compound effect, which basically means that if you do the right things every single day, like it, you're getting like 1% better each day. And over time, that 1%, it doesn't look like anything in that day. Like that day, it was just 1%. But if you do 365 days, a whole year where you're focusing on doing 1% better each day, well then boom, bada bang, you're gonna have that curve and that's what we want. So focus on just doing the disciplines for the you five years from now, not where you're at right now. Number five, get a habit tracker. What I've been doing is I actually have several habit trackers, which is so me. I have an app called Habit, and I will literally put in like five habits that I want to work on for that season, and I will just cross them off throughout the day. They're not huge habits. They're like, I want to get in a 15-minute prayer walk every day because I find that when I just stop in the middle of the day out of my regular routine and I get outside and I pray, like I'm able to just approach my day with so much more mental clarity and I just feel more empowered to step into my day. So get a habit tracker. I also have a free habit tracker that you guys can get in the description below. It's also going to help you start doing healthy habits. So this brings me to set realistic goals. Many of you guys are going to turn off this video and you're going to go, okay, I'm ready to go, Ash. Like I'm going to just hit 20 different goals, 20 different disciplines and 20 different habits. And I'm just going to go for it. What's going to happen is just like when I woke up at literally 8.30 after setting like an ungodly amount of alarms at 5.30 a.m., I felt like, poo, I don't want that for you. The other day, I was carrying my groceries into the apartment and I literally was thinking, okay, how many groceries can I put on my, cause I live the apartment life. And so literally with groceries, you have to go up elevate an elevator to actually get your groceries in the, in your room. But I was thinking, I'm like, okay, how many groceries can I get on these two arms without having any of them fall? And I literally was able to get them all up the ele like all of the elevator, all my Publix bags, right? However, it was exhausting to try to carry all of those bags versus if I had just tried to carry a few bags at a time, it wasn't as exhausting. So moral of the story, pick like five things that you want to grow in this season and set realistic goals for those things. 
Again, you don't want to be having all these bags on your two arms. You don't want to be having like 20 different habits in your habit tracker that you want to focus on because let me just tell you before you even try, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. If you try to accomplish everything, you cannot accomplish anything. But you can accomplish anything, but you can't accomplish everything. So consider, what are the things that I really want to grow in? What are those things? What do I want to have more discipline in? Is it waking up early? Is it reading my Bible? Is it working out and going to the gym? What is it that I actually want to put into my life to have more discipline in? And then put it on your habit tracker and set realistic goals for those things. So if it is for instance, waking up earlier. Okay. Is it realistic for you to go? You've been waking up at 8 a.m. like for years. Or is it realistic to say, okay, tomorrow, 5.30 a.m. grind time? That's not realistic. What's realistic is for you to go, okay, you know what? I'm going to wake up at 7.30 tomorrow. 7.30. Just make it 30 minute difference. That's already going to be that 1% better, right? Then the next day go, okay, 30 more minutes, 7 a.m. Okay, wow, you're really making progress. Eventually you make it to 5.30 and then you you stick with that and you ask the Lord for self-discipline to stick with it because that's the kind of person that you wanna be and that's the kind of life that you wanna lead. If you guys actually want to start reading the Bible and developing a consistent routine and discipline of spending time with God every day and you're so sick of being distracted or just feeling like you don't have a good discipline and routine with the Lord, I wanna invite you to join my community, The Tree. I give you a daily Bible reading plan where it's going to help you go through everything that you need to do that day to spend time with the Lord. It's gonna give you a roadmap to spending time with him every single day that is not intimidating and not overwhelming. So go to the link in my description to join our community. We would love to have you. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos every single week on growing your faith and reaching your God-given potential. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope that this helps you be more disciplined and I can't wait to see you guys next video.